Hello everyone, what's up? It's me Jackie and welcome back to another video. So for this week's video, a very exciting one for you guys. Today I'm actually going to be doing a huge haul of everything that I bought in the last two videos that I just uploaded on this channel. In case you haven't watched them already, I did film an Ikea and Home Goods vlog as well as an online shop with me video. So definitely go check those out if you haven't already. I will link my moving series up in the cards for you guys to check out. That being said, today is part three of my huge move-in series. So definitely stay tuned for so many more parts of this entire series. I'm super excited about it. And next week we actually begin the packing process for this entire thing so definitely stay tuned for all of that jazz so in general today i'm going to go ahead and haul things from target amazon ikea and home goods i will also try to link below as many of the items as i can find as possible so definitely go check out the links below without any further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into this week's video and see everything that i bought starting off with a store that i got the least amount of things from let's go ahead and start off with target i did show that i bought two things in the shop with me so let's go ahead and go through those first basically the only thing i bought in that shop with me was these two overfilled pillows. I love the style of pillow. So I know that in the shopping video, I did show me buying some green sheets from Amazon. But once I went to Target's website, I saw that they had a so much better option compared to Amazon. I did buy my color sheets from Target instead. Look at these. Oh my goodness. These are some sage green sheets that I'm absolutely obsessed with. That comes with the fitted sheet, the regular sheet, and two pillowcases. Because I feel like it's going to add the perfect pop of green color to my bed, as well as just pulling all the greens that I'm going to have around my room and then last up from target i did decide to get a lamp i decided to get this white lamp here look how freaking pretty this is i love the detailing on the actual lamp itself i came with the lamp as well as the bulb in there so super excited to have this in my new room that's pretty much all i got from target so let's go ahead and move on to the next store that i bought stuff from which is going to be amazon i filled up this box with everything that i bought from there first up i bought some mounting tape here honestly kind of boring but this is seriously such a lifesaver especially if you can't put nails into the wall i love this stuff next up i bought some pillow filling i actually did buy a little pillow from shein so i needed something to fill that up so i decided to go with this super cheap around seven dollars i want to say and i can probably fill like two little pillows with this next up in here i've got a little jewelry organizer holder oh my god i almost smacked my face with it it just has three bars for necklaces as well as this little tray at the bottom for rings earrings anything i really want to add to it so super duper excited to have this with me and then last from amazon we just got some decor pieces let's go ahead and just start off with the top one here so basically what this is are some tapestries oh my goodness so this is the sun and then i've got another one of the moon here because i do have one already in my room but i'm just gonna go ahead and take this one with me to san jose and then lastly here we've just got the stars so these are super great quality and i'm really happy with the size last two things i got from amazon were some led lights the first design i got was just a moon look how pretty this is i feel like this is definitely such a perfect size too it just shines some yellow light so i'm super excited about this and then the second design i got was just a cloud i thought this was super simple and a cute little decor piece also what i love about these is that you can either put batteries in them to light it up or just connect it to a usb really excited about these that's pretty much everything that i bought from amazon and next up let's move on to everything that i bought from person so the first store we're going to get into is going to be home goods i have this in a tj maxx bag but you know where they're pretty much sister brands so everything from here is pretty much just kitchenware and towels so it's gonna be shared by all my roommates first up let's go into the towels that i selected so the first set of towels that i got from home goods were just these white ones here these are pretty much for the bathrooms we do have a one and a half bath so we just need some towels to dry off our hands after washing them i thought these were super pretty and simplistic with the little design going across the towels these were 10 bucks for two towels but these are such great quality and super soft and the second set of towels that i got were just for the kitchen i got this four pack of towels basically just have a light blue gray white and dark blue color these were eight bucks i just love really simple color towels as you can't tell <laughs> going off the kitchen towels everything else in this bag is going to be kitchen related first over here we just got a paper towel holder this was six dollars and feels like great quality for the price next up i got some bamboo kitchen tools i feel like i love bamboo ones just because they're great for the earth they're super easy to clean and they're just super aesthetically pleasing so basically in here we just have a couple of spoons little spatulas all the simple stuff and this was four bucks so definitely such a great deal and then we've got some tongs just because i feel like tongs are super necessary this just came in a two pack for six dollars and we've just got a little one as well as a bigger one here next up here we've got a little measuring set so first off the outside in general is just a measuring cup this thing measures up to four cups which is really convenient and it also comes with the funnel in the inside as well as measuring cups so we are stocked up with measuring things 10 pieces for six dollars you really can't beat the price next up here we've got a spoon 
and rest. This was only four bucks and this is such a great quality. It's just some stainless steel here. Next up, we've got a soap dispenser and sponge little set here. I needed something to hold my soap for washing dishes and this was perfect because I could put my soap in here, which means that I can go buy soap in bulk so I don't waste money on buying just little pumps. And it also has a little holder for a sponge as well as coming with the sponge for the price of $6. Last thing that we've gotten here are just some pans. So let's just go through them individually. First up, I got this Cuisinart. Yes, Cuisinart. Little eight inch skillet here. This is gonna be super great just for making eggs, vegetables, anything of the sorts because it's super tiny and super convenient. And then we've got this bigger Cuisinart pan. This is just a 12 inch skillet. So I can go ahead and make my bigger things. This is really just going to come in handy. So we've got these two simple little pans here. And the last pan we've got, and the last thing I got from home because it's just going to be this baking pan here. This is super great just to put in the oven when you wanna roast anything. It doesn't have to be just for baking, it can be for roasting. So this was $8. The 12 inch pan was $17. Then the eight inch skillet was just $10. So that's pretty much everything that I bought from Home Goods. It was really just the kitchen essentials there. Really excited about all of that. Last up for the bulkiest part of this haul, I've got everything that I bought from Ikea. As you can see, I did have to move everything or almost everything onto my bed because I bought so much stuff that I'm super excited to show you all. And I'm really gonna have no rhyme and rhythm when I'm showing you any of this because honestly, stuff is all over the place. So we're gonna go in a random order. So here I basically just got stuff for the bathroom, the kitchen, my room, basically all of the above. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and start with what's behind me. I've got a couple of things here to show you. First up, I've got this little pot set here. This is basically just the Anon's pot set. This comes with three pots, sorry for the glare. It just comes with two small pots as well as a bigger one. And you do have to attach the handles, but honestly, don't really care about that because it was super inexpensive. Next up, we've got just a simple little colander here. There were so many options for different colanders as you can see in the vlog but this is probably my favorite one just because I feel like it's super simple to wash and then those were both stacked in these two trash cans here that I bought these are just some simple little trash cans that are going to go in our bathrooms these were also super inexpensive They're probably around like two bucks each okay let's go into some more kitchen stuff next up we've got these two mixing bowls here first one I got was just really tiny and then we've also just got a bigger one of the same sort of bowl style and then those are both set on this bigger pot here so I know that I just showed you three pots but I bought a bigger one just so that in case we need to boil chicken, pasta, anything like that. It can just fit inside of this bigger pot here. I guess I'll go into what's right next to me here. I got this huge... Oh my god, my arm. I bought this huge plate set here. This is like 20 bucks for 18 pieces, which is definitely great for us. Comes with six large plates, six small plates, and six little bowls. So really excited about this and eating my dinner off of it. Also kitchen related, I did buy myself some little food containers. It's gonna be great for storing away all of my leftovers. I think this comes with like 17 little food containers. So really stocked up. Moving away from the kitchen stuff, let's go into some items that I got for my room. So the first one here is probably one of my favorite items that I bought. It's it's this clothing rack. I've never really just had a standing clothing rack in my room. And I feel like this is super great just to add some style and personality. So this is just the Moolig really simple standard clothing rack. It was only 10 bucks for a clothing rack, which is freaking insane. Next up, let's go ahead and move into the bags that I have here. Let's just go back into some more shared stuff. First off here, I've just got two cutting boards. I feel like these are pretty standard, pretty simple plastic cutting boards. And then I've got some knives. I'm not really sure if I can show this on YouTube, but we just got a three pack of knives with a little knife holder so we got that and then last up in this little bag are just some cutlery so we've just got a little fork a bigger fork a butter knife bigger spoon and a little spoon and it comes with 20 pieces and then now let's go into this bag of stuff from ikea also for the kitchen and for daily use are just these paper straws here it comes with a hundred pack and i feel like it's only a couple bucks i've got these simple little pan lids and it comes with three plastic lids for pans and pots and everything needed especially because the pans that i got don't have lids so these are definitely going to help out. Then in here, we've also got this little microwave cover. And then I also got just a simple grater here. This comes with four different ways to grate your food. Next up in here, I've just got this cutlery holder. This is gonna be great for just holding like our forks, our spoons, butter knives, all that simple stuff. Last shared thing I got in this bag is just this dust pan sort of thing. I think that's what it's called. And then the last couple of things I got in this bag are just going to be me related and just gonna be for myself. So first off here, I've just got this simple little candle. I bought this towards the end of my Ikea trip. And it's 
smells like apples. I love apples. And then we also got two lint rollers. I feel like I'm always made of lint rollers. So I did get two. These were like 98 cents. And then lastly, we just got two plants here. So the first pack of plants that I got is just this little three pack. And I feel like almost everyone out there has these, but I was like, these are super cute. And I love the white pot. And the last thing in the bag is just this green plant here. I thought this would be perfect for putting on a shelf and letting the plant just flow off of the shelf. I really wanted one of these. I'm really happy that I did find one at Ikea. Last set of things that I got to show you from Ikea is going to be in this trash can here. So first it's just the trash can itself. It's just going to be for the kitchen, probably under the sink. It's just white, super simple, and it has this top cap here to open up really easily. And then inside of this itself, I've just got so many more kitchen things, so let's dive into those. First off, I've got just a little baking spatula here. If we're baking or just needing to mix little things, this is perfect. This is around a dollar. And really just a simple little silicone spatula. And then I've got some more knives, which are just some steak knives here, but not really gonna show those too much because I don't know if YouTube likes that. I use this for cooking or just cutting stuff when I'm eating, so these are really handy. And then I've got just these simple little pan mitts here. Just came with this two pack for like $3. So I thought it was really great. These aren't kitchen related, but they were in the trash can I just got these two bathroom soap sets So basically just comes with the soap dispenser a little cup for toothbrushes And then a tray to hold either those two or a little soap bar And then we just got some more cooking utensils These are just plastic ones just so that we have versatility So I've just got this bigger spoon here a more narrow spoon and then a spatula I love plastic based utensils just because they won't scratch up the pan super easily So I decided to go with these also not kitchen related, but I got this toilet brush. Next up, we just got a peeler and knife set here. Really super simple and great for the price. And I just got some more dishwashing sponges. We've got some chip bag clips or just clips for anything really. This was a pack of 30 for around like $4. And we also just got a super simple big whisk and tiny whisk set. And then we just got this stainless steel little garlic press here. I love garlic and definitely most of the meals that I make are including garlic. So gotta have this on hand. Had to back up because the last thing in this haul is gonna be this huge mirror that I I bought. I'm in love with this mirror. It's pretty much just 25 inches by 59 something inches. This is seriously like the holy grail mirror. This was only $50 for this big of a mirror. I'm absolutely obsessed. So with all that that I just showed you from Ikea, Target, Home Goods, and Amazon, it's pretty much going to be it for this week's video and entire haul of everything that I bought for my new house that I will be moving into in a couple of weeks. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. I do post every single Friday. And if you want to see exactly what time I post at, go ahead and click the little bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Stay tuned for the rest of my moving series. Next week we begin the packing process. So definitely join me on my journey of moving into my new house. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow my socials. I'm very active on those and I love interacting with you guys on there. I love you all very much and I can't wait to see you guys in next week's packing video. Bye cuties!